Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today, I am going to rank the album covers of The Who. And this is all of their studio albums. Uh, I don't think I'm missing any. I've, I've put in a couple of compilations also. And live, you know, they've, they've done a lot of live albums, but just the, I've just put in the original uh, live at Leeds, and I believe that's it for live up. Oh, and uh, the, the Kids Are All Right, which has a lot of live uh, material on it. So here we go. From worst to best. Now, overall, The Who's album covers were always pretty good. Nothing really too terrible. Although, my least favorite is... Their last release, <coughs> as a cough, Endless Wire, which of course I don't even know, you know, is it really The Who when it's just Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, do you like that album cover? I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. But, uh, Let's move on. The Who, it's hard. Now, the one thing about this is it also it kind of reminds me of uh, Lou Reed's New Sensations. And he's got this, you know, remote control and it looks so 80s. Just like this one with the pinball machine and all that. It's like, that has such an 80s look to it. And, I mean... But back in the day, when it came out in the 80s, that was kind of a, uh, not a bad album cover, and the, and the Who looked pretty menacing and pretty cool, so it's not a bad album cover for its time. The Who, a quick one. Very, very 60s, which is when it came out, so uh, <laughs> it, I like it. It's different, uh, nice uh, illustration of the band. And it almost sort of looks like The Who. So like I said, these are, you know, they're decent album covers. This is a compilation album that I remember owning at one point. I'm not sure if... Uh, this was a UK release or just in the, in the States and Canada. The Who, Magic Bus. Once again, very 60s. One thing, one thing I just noticed, I just noticed this. I'm, I'm, it only takes me years to notice. I don't see Keith Moon unless he's, which would be scary, unless he's driving the, the bus. The Who face dances. It was kind of interesting with uh, four illustrations of each band member, and it's different. I actually like that. If I if I was gonna rate these out of ten, I would give that a seven out of ten. Let's do that. Uh, go back to uh, Endless Wire. I would give that like a a four out of ten. It's hard by The Who. I would give that a uh, 6 out of 10, because, you know, thinking back when it was released, if that came out today, it would not It would be less than a 6 out of 10. Uh, the Who, a quick one, that's a 7 out of 10. And Magic Bus, a 7 out of 10. So here we go. Uh, face Dances, 7 out of 10. I, I like it. It's, it's unique. The Who, My Generation, their debut album. Uh... Very simple, but I like it. I like the angle of the band members looking up. and uh, I think this album cover has been parodied a few times. The Undertones debut album, for instance. Uh, 7 out of 10. Another compilation album, The Who, Odds and Sods. And with the original vinyl, uh, Parts of the album cover would be open, so you could see the inner sleeve also. And 
at the time I didn't really care for it, I, but now I do. I like it. It's a. Uh, I'm gonna give that actually a eight out of ten. Who are you? And what's really uh, m moving about this picture is, of course, Keith Moon sitting in a chair that says, not to be taken away. And, of course, a few months later, he, he was taken away. And, uh, but I like, I like that. It's, it doesn't seem too posed. It's just, you know, the band climbed up on there and they took some pictures. So, it's cool. 8 out of 10. The Who Live at Leeds. Of course, uh, this was a live album where they tried to make it look like a typical bootleg album, and it works. I mean, the whole package was, was awesome because you would open it up and there'd be this inner sleeve with all of, these, all of this paperwork and all that and a poster. But just that itself. It's very simple, and I love it. I actually love it. I would give that a a 9 out of 10. Another uh, compilation album from their movie The Kids Are Alright. Beautiful shot of the band. 10 out of 10. So all of these are great album covers as far as I'm concerned. Uh, John Entwistle did the, uh, I believe he did the illustration of this, The Who by Numbers. And I love it. It's just, oh, actually, I just noticed he, he did sign at the bottom. That's why it was John Entwistle that drew that. So many, uh, a lot of uh, musicians are actually very talented artists or very good artists. Paul McCartney, uh, David Bowie, Captain Beefheart. And John Entwistle, 10 out of 10. Their first compilation album, The Who, Meaty, Beady, Big and Bouncy. And I love how the, uh, the Who are in that little window looking, you know, kind of looking back at their youth in a way. And then the back cover is reversed and it's really cool. 10 out of 10. The Who Sell Out. This could easily, all of these could easily be number one because they're all great. And then the back cover with uh, Keith Moon and John Entwistle. And uh, uh, the highlight, though, of course, is Roger Daltrey in a bathtub filled with beans. Quadraphonia. And the cool thing about this shot, and I didn't, when this uh, first came out, you know, I, I thought the album cover was cool, and then I didn't notice in the mirrors, the band members in the mirrors right away. So that was like a, whoa, that even makes it more cool. 10 out of 10. Now, number one and number two could sort of be interchangeable, because I love them both. But number two for me is Tommy. And of course, the gate fold, it would uh, open up more with uh, a triple gate fold, I guess is what you would call it. I just woke up, okay? And uh, love the band members inside there and the cloud and everything. Just an excellent, superb album cover. And it really matches the music within, I believe. And my favorite is... Who's next? And I guess uh, Pete Townsend doesn't care for this album cover. And I believe from reading on it, there was only actually one band member that actually urinated. And the other was just, you know, they just, they faked it. They, they photoshopped it. That's what they did. Yes. Back in 1971, they photoshopped it. And I guess the actual sky there was wasn't that, you know, they, they put that in, maybe it was just a, a plain blue sky or whatever, but that really adds to, to it. I love that album cover. It is awesome. And that's it. I would love your thoughts on what is your favorite and least favorite Who album cover. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.